action. Heard. Set. We have here. Couldn't be more excited about it. Oh, this is my favorite song for this map, too. Who is uh, Snowback going to play, though? I've seen a few characters, and always someone to play. A little cheesier characters, and I do believe this is something quite similar. This is Smash Ultimate right here. Dark Samus versus Min Min on PS2. Sounds about right to me, Mr. Script. That's my father. Script. Just Script. <laughs> Jab checks here, though, early. It's going to be interesting, too, because obviously Advo in this character, so much zone breaking can do with these jumps, these long lasting airs can come out. But it's going to be hard. You have to really time yourself on when you want to approach. And once you do get in, obviously the close range stuff is disgusting. No, okay, thank you for jumping there. Chase down here too, though. Yeah, you can really catch Advo when he's charging up, you know, charging up a charge shot, letting a missile fly, or maybe whipping a grab. You can do some serious damage from the range you need to to be safe from those moves. Up close and personal, though, here early. I got a pretty, pretty reasonable percent ranges to be in here, too. Snowblack finds a small lead. But the charge on the Megawatt, I see you taking first stock here versus Advo. Yeah. Advo. I would, I would have thought Advo would be like, would be cooking on it right now. I'm not going to lie. Just, just to see how Advo, I feel like Dark Samus and Mimmin kind of a weird match as well. Because Samus, I mean, of course, like, you got a few, you got the, like, the misread touch for Samus is that, like, we'll just, like, go on the other side of the stage. And then they'll, they'll throw out the charge shot, right? And, you know, that's not what Advo is. Advo is, like, a, a, a mover and groover, right? Uh, we'll kind of rush down in. Not crazy like foxes, right? But he'll still be able to find a ways to get in and, and, and have some fun. But with that, the downbeat from Samus took the stock from Snow Black, which is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that move kill. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Both these characters kind of two sides of the same coin. They want to play most of their game at range, but once they do get in, they can put on some big, yeah. big hurt. And hey, let's look right now, man. The Dragon Fire Breath is on deck here. For Snow Black, which would be an insane win if you got a little bad one. Not going to catch an air dodge there, too, but the Ram Ram going up high to pressure on that platform. Second hit in there, huge. Those spot dodge not going to connect, but down smash catches the over approach there from Advo. It sure does. For Snow Black. Jump backs here too. Advo putting himself in the corner, but obviously able to use that time in the air to get some charge shot online. And it's not really a very good position for Advo to, or for Snow Black, I should say, to punish that hard, kind of hard. If you're on the ground, your opponent's in the air off a double jump. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, up tilt. Ah, oh, you're dead. Oh, save the jump. Ah! Good boy. And now, man, hey, it's three out of five, so we've got plenty of time for Advo to be shooting more of those charge shots, getting more kills with it. Advo almost, but now he has the lead back in store here at Yomacon 2022 here in Winter Sports, three of five. Ooh, Dash, that's going to break out there, too. Sobak finally getting in the zone, had the grab. Not going to take advantage of that empowered arm. Bang, bang, nothing too much, though. Oh, wanted to jump so bad. Oh, is there off to get off my stage though? Give me some real estate to work with here. So that's Snow Black. Yeah, man. But the gameplay is kind of speaking for itself now. I'm a little quiet, but like it's pretty tense right now. This can go to three of five. This would be five, man, right here. Oh no! And oh no, Snow Black didn't get enough smash for anything to punish that up, that missed off B from Advo. That could be very, very, very unfortunate if Advo were, starts to run away with this entire set. A shout out to oh. the arm. That's going to be an up throw. That's going to be a kill. That is game one for Advo, but Snow Black played it about as one, close two. as it could be. Solid, solid stuff, though, too. There was a few times, like, you saw there's a missed up B, and there was a few, like, overextensions in Advo where Snow Black could have definitely taken that first game. But just a few, you know, hesitations on pulling the trigger, didn't quite know, maybe some analysis paralysis, if you will. 
Yeah, man, I saw, uh, I saw Dark Samus. I saw, not Dark Samus, uh, Advil counting in the player cam and we saw him going one, two, three. <laughs> his hands. One, two, three. It's all good. Hey, man, all you gotta do is just get three stocks. Just gotta get three stocks. And now we got the rookie Dark Samus skin here. Love to see that. Cool Dark Samus skin. Backing away here to down throw. The immediate run up up smash. It's a new thing that I have been privy to is the down throw at 0% to that up smash. Something you can find quite nice, especially on held BI in. Yeah. Dash tag, no. Gonna get these nares up. Grab not ranged properly. Just the falling up air, but we will continue off the juggle it created. Whoa! Wow. Nair D. He went way downtown. And we're talking about still like how he had like a three good two stock lead at the very beginning of that, of that first set, right? But then Advo, look who's got the W in game one. And now look who's gonna get it in game two. As he just got the craziest up air, up air, up air, up beat you have ever seen at Yubicon 2022. That's the first one I've seen today. <laughs> yeah, really good stuff. Extending off that platform as well, resetting the jump. Snow Black, no DI mix up either. So Advo just had to hold one direction. And it counted. Absolutely, man. And now it, we're making it on the first one. Three stock. If the Mega Y has anything to say about it, no sorry. Give me this. No, not going to catch anything early. Advo, just as soon as Snowblack runs away, kind of catching his timing. I'm <laughs> going forward, going in, going out. Down oh air, God. no nair. He's got a lot of mileage off of this nair. Like, yeah, I feel like Sam's nair, nair's disgusting. Cause, yeah, because, like, I mean, from a, a player's and a viewer's perspective, and not like a computer programmer's perspective, I assume that that hitbox is going to be on that foot, right? But it's inside the body, too, right? I feel like Advo is like, using falling nair, like, right inside of Min Min. A lot, which is where he's getting a lot of that mileage off of it. Trying to go for the drag down. Is that up? He's like a kill. Nope. He's got some DI here, Mr. Fortnite. With that controller tag. Up smash. Sending Samus nowhere for some reason. I don't know why. He didn't do anything. He got rage. Goodbye. <laughs> up throw the ultimate equalizer for Samus. Find so many stocks, especially when you can't find the ability to kill. But tapping into more what you said about that Nair, it is just a disc of death. Most players want to get it to where, you know, the torso of Samus is inside the, the opponent, so you can get both hits of that Nair to connect and obviously does a ton of damage. Great showing, great response from a very close game uh, one from Snow Black. Advil shut that down. Almost swore. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. And now we've got Snow Black Joker. We just saw a little bit of Joker from the blade. I wonder how this will turn out. Should be different though, obviously you have some speed to work with. You can play around those ranges a little bit, but obviously you do not have the range that you saw so much success with. And Advo obviously has a lot of time correcting with Blade, especially even just yesterday. I saw a lot of Advo Blade friendlies being ran. Oh, down air back here too. Not gonna find the back air too high a percent. Forward air coming down here to charge shot, just a break out, no jump being given. Up B, no. Oh, that move is bad. I tell you, that move is bad. That <laughs> is a bad move. They have not a bad move. You know what's the one weird thing about the Dark Samus? That Samus up, up like a throw. I never get that zoom screen for that move. Like, that was the first time I've ever seen that, that move zoom screen. Because, like, at the very last stock, get a little zoom screen. But for whatever reason, that move just goes boop for no reason. It's just a little bit of a. Anyway, back to the action here. We caught that jump with that up tilt. Go add though. This Joker. Nair's early here too. Advo taking a ton of time in the corner. No drag down as we saw from Blade earlier on the Joker with no Arsene. Just getting the first hit damage and nothing else. Keep the pressure going forward. Whoa. Wow, what an Why did he go anywhere? Advo tried to go for a, a forward error or a down error there. Not the forward error. Didn't really hit anything off of that. But you have one too. Beerverse charge shot back, trying to catch Ad or trying to catch Snow Black to approach something there. No dice. Yeah, there seems to be a a turning in the momentum here for our man Mr. Vo, who has been putting on a tear since game two. I mean, hey, you never want to talk. You never want. <laughs> oh my God! Don't want to count on anyone at all. Smash Bros is a long game. It's a very silly game, especially Ultimate. 
but he got, gets kind of advantage so far. 103 on his first stock. Don't want to see the rings on the wall, but I do want to see him keep trying. It'd be pretty insane if Snow Black brings this one back. Great trade there for Snow Black too. Gets Advo off stage. Weak hit in there though. Not going to find the kill for it. And Advo picking back to stage a lot earlier. No up tilt, but still holds heavy advantage here. More falls. Oh. Goodbye. That weight is so nasty. They did it a few times there too. First time we saw it be taken for a kill. Very, very solid stuff from Advo. That dark Samus, that Samus is so well seasoned. A sleeper pick? Who? What's his record against low one? Uh, probably a lot to a little. I'll be completely honest. Yeah. Low one has been one to dominate. Low one really doesn't lose to players who have been around. Like